Hello everybody and welcome back to day number three of the Christmas countdown of Lost Legacy or Advent Adventures that gets it kinda has a bunch of different names. I'm not actually joined by any helpers today. I'll explain why in a few minutes. I've got some things I'm gonna be doing today though. Um, so there's Frosty Long Nose, what we built in the last video. And um, the other helpers I accidentally called that one Dolly Snow Bear instead of Do Snow uh, Dolly Snow Deer, which is of course Polly's best creation after Redstone. We have Mr. McChilly or Mr. McChill and then Fizzy's I can't even remember the name, the Yogo Sobro Pro thingy. <laughs> um Yeah, real quick guys. Um this happened in Minecraft, don't worry. This isn't like a real life cataclysm. If it was, I'd be very concerned. <laughs> I still am, to be fair. But I woke up and um, you know, I obviously I I, I realised that I was in a bit of pain. And so I took off my air boots. I'm not going to do that now because, uh, you know, it might be a bit gross. And there's some weird purple stuff that's managed to get onto my foot. And uh, it's kind of like, you know, like, um, oh, what they call like, um, kind of like mushroom kind of infections. Like, uh, what are they called? I can't remember. I've just eaten my breakfast and I haven't really commented on that. My bad. Uh, yeah, it's kind of like um, infected in that way. Uh, it's obviously a Minecraft and it's very kind of weird, but I'm still going to go along with the spring in my step, and speaking of doing things with a spring in my step, that is what I always do when adding someone to the love garden, which is always about adding people for cool various reasons, and just being a supportive individual, and today that supportive individual has been Outside Inside, who has been commenting on most of the Lost Legacy videos, and has always been supportive, and likes what we're doing here, and you know, he's just a generally all-round nice guy, and he is actually in Stampy's uh, Love Garden. The real Love Garden. Technically, this kind of is, but it's not, like, real in that sense. But yeah, thank you very much, uh, Outside Inside, and welcome to the Love Garden. And now, we can go to the Day 3 thingy machine advent calendar. Why did I call it a thingy machine? That's kind of stupid. Uh, I just realized I didn't actually have any of my tools or things out, because... Um, yeah. Ooh, this looks like... It looks like, um... Is that like a tree? It kind of looks like a tree. I, I think, I think I do actually see why they've added, they've gave me these leaves. Um, thank you, helpers. Oh yeah, I'll have to explain where they are at, and I'll quickly do that when we go to what we're actually going to be doing. Uh, first, I just have to figure out where I want to put this damn tree. Uh, I, I, I don't know. I probably should think about that first before talking about what's actually going on today, because um, well, today is going to be a little bit complicated for people who aren't really good with um. You know, just generally figuring things out for themselves. <laughs> um, yeah, it's it's going to be one of those fun episodes today. And we are going to be going into the secret base. I think I'll put it here. I just ran up here because I was thinking, like, let's just look over for an area. But I think if I put it here, you'll kind of see from the balcony and it'll be quite nice. Oh, yeah, so the extra leaves that I got, like, the two of on the side, I think that was so I could make it 3D. Because that's literally what it came with in the chest. That's literally how it was in the chest. But with these extra two leaves, I can kind of thicken it up and make it to, uh, 3D. And I think it looks really nice. So, yeah, uh, that's the Christmas tree situation done. Now I've just got to um, fall into the lake or, you know, jump in. Uh, yeah, we're going to be going down into the secret base today. Uh, the reason for that is because... Um, there's a new machine, which I worked on off camera with the helpers, and so my leather helmet, uh, or leather cap, whatever you want to call it, um, you guys may think, I'll probably talk about this first, you guys may think that it's an ordinary leather helmet, but actually no, it's not. It's, I've programmed it to have something special. So this new machine here, there's going to be a few more, we might extend it down that way when we want more. Um, this new machine here, we worked on it with the helpers, and I had this idea of like, you know, what if we do, like, a bit of a social experiment where I give them some helmets, um, and they have all three different iron helmets, um, and they kind of do their own things, right? And what if I somehow manage to, um, see through their perspectives? Of course, I wouldn't be able to control them, because, well, that would be quite disturbing and bad. But if I was able to kind of see what they were doing as, like, a bit of a thought experiment... Uh, so we kind of hypothesized, and we made this um, contraption here, which uses a micro power source known as the power of suggestion, which basically means a bit of belief, a bit of 50-50 wishy-washy stuff. Um, but there is redstone down here, and the proof of that is the fact that these iron trap doors are actually up. Um, so yeah, basically I'm going to be seeing what the helper's perspectives are. And also in a future episode... I don't want to do this today because it's kind of risky, but I will be going through the mines of Hit the Target and Viva Dash and seeing what they've gotten up to because 
I don't want to believe this, but they might have something to do with why my feet feel so painful. And the bedroom's also got that same kind of purple stuff. Because yes, I have been putting two and two together. And I have kind of seen that things are looking a bit worse and worse day by the day. So yeah, I'm just going to see at least the helpless perspectives. And then in the next couple episodes, whenever I can, I will go and see if the talking view actually see what they're going to do. But yeah, if talking, because I've been kind of running around talking and, you know, yada 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 ring. I will now go and press one of these buttons. I'll press the one for William. And I will see what he's been up to in his own little world. Let's see if this works as well, guys, because um, you never know with this sort of thing. And, uh, oh, wait, has it worked? There's no way it's worked. Oh, no, oh, I see William's got a, a creeper issue here. Oh, goodness, that's not good. Um, let's hope that that can get dealt with. Oh, jeez. Um, it's right there, I see it on the William's perspective. Oh, oh, no, it, that's kind of a problem. Um, I don't know how William's gonna deal with this. Yes, running away is definitely the best thing to do in this situation, and it still seems to be following. Oh, 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 no. Right, well, um, I hope that, I hope that it's not, okay, it seems to be just down the end of the path, so hopefully William's not gonna have too many issues. Oh, what do you, I don't know what William's gonna do about that, actually. Um, well, he seems to be just running far, far away from that location, which I honestly can't say I don't blame him from. Creepers are not nice, and, uh, you can just, oh, has he despawned? He might have despawned. He, he's either despawned or he's just somewhere else. Um, oh, he's there. He's there, he's there. Okay, um... Well, William does have a diamond sword on him, so, uh, yeah, I know that much for, for a fact. Okay, come on, William, you got this. I believe in you. William comes out on top. Epic W. William. Okay, well, I don't exactly know how I'm going to get out of this um, perspective because, well, it's, it's, it's a bit finicky. So we didn't really think of anything to do. So unless I take off my helmet or I just kind of believe if I just think outside the box no pun intended and ooh, i think i'm back yes i'm back in the machine well i'm not back i've always been here but back in my perspective i think you know as i said about the power of suggestion with this kind of thing you have to believe in this you also kind of have to believe that you can get out of there because well if you don't have the right mindset for this thing you will be trapped in someone else's perspective forever unless you know which would not be fun but yeah so basically uh, I might go into Polly or Fizzy, whoever. Let's go for Polly. Polly's kind of like in the same chronological order kind of category. Uh, yeah, let's see what Polly's been up to. Alright, has it, has it worked? I think it has. Yeah, it's definitely be, it's coming sunset in the world already. Jeez. Alright, it seems that Polly's going into her house and, um, I don't know. I don't know what Polly's gonna do next. Who, who does know? This is the thing. You never know what they're gonna do. They, the helpers just do their own thing. Looks like Polly's just... Chilling, sat on her couch, um, reading books, I guess. Works for whatever Polly wants to do, I guess. Um, yeah, so the thing is, I never actually told the, help the helpers when I'd be kind of spectating on them. They've just been running around the world, doing their own kind of uh, general things. Um, lovely view from her balcony. I've never actually really been onto the other helpers' kind of like perspectives, but the balcony is definitely a nice place to be at. Does look good, just... Double checking the area, I guess. I guess it's looking fine for as far as I can see, unless Polly's got anything different to say about it. I don't think so, because she's um she's gone back down and uh into the bedroom. Like, yeah, it is it is dark. I guess that doesn't make sense. Well, while she's sleeping, I'm gonna try and get out of her perspective if I can. <sighs> <sighs> okay, well, I seem to be back. That yep. <laughs> well, I say back. I'm not traveling anywhere, but it's just when I kind of look at that screen, that kind of thing appears. It's kind of like a bit of like a VR thing. When, you, when you're right there, I don't really want to do that now because I've not really selected anybody. Uh, it would just be my perspective if I did that, which kind of makes sense, I guess. Um, we've only got one helper left to kind of check uh, and see what they're doing. I say check it. It sounds like I'm stalking. No, trust me, it's 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 completely fine, guys. And that is a uh, fizzy elephant. I'm kind of scared to see what sort of thing Philly ele Philly fizzy elephant gets up to. Because Fizzy's always the crazy one, and oh, <laughs> I see he's holding fireworks. He's, he seems to be by the tower with extended, and um, he's definitely setting off some fireworks. I can't say I blame him. Fizzy is one for loving fireworks. Oh, wow, that does look good. I, I can't argue with his style. That does have a nice look to it. And, uh, yeah, he's looking at the fireworks. Wow, that, 
They do look nice. I like I like Fizzy's style. He's always doing something with fireworks or building. I guess right now he's doing what he does before every video happens. He's just testing which fireworks he prefers. I don't blame him, but these do look pretty nice. Well, I guess in a second I should probably um, focus on getting out of his perspective because I, uh, well, yeah, I've kind of seen what they're all doing. He's just testing his fireworks. I guess I guess that one's his favorite based on the the flaring or something. I don't know, but yeah. Uh, so yeah, I will now try my best and get out of his perspective if I just try my best and. <clears throat> uh, okay, well, seems that I'm back in my own perspective. That is, um, I always get kind of scared because. Sometimes you kind of have to really push yourself to get back. Um, but yeah, so that has been the day or night in the life of the helpers. Um, very interesting to see what sort of things they get up to, of course. Um, yeah, we've got Fizzy testing out his fireworks, doing what he does. Uh, Polly, of course, going to sleep because it's getting dark. Polly must still be trying to sleep then if it's still night outside. And of course, William uh, nearly got blown up by a creeper, but that's okay. Uh, in the next episode, I'll be building something in the town, and then maybe if we get that finished, I will confront the target in Vividash, see if I can get them to wear one of those iron helmets I was talking about that I, lets me see through their perspective, because it's a kind of secret way of being actually able to, um, you know, see what they're doing. Because if that, if that weird purple stuff is down to them, which I don't want to believe, because it's kind of disgusting and painful for me, because I'm having to walk in that room to sleep in there. Um... If that is the case, then I gotta find out what's causing it, how they're doing it, and more information on that. So yeah, um, do join me for that, um, whenever that does happen. I'm hoping the corruption doesn't get too much worse. I guess, like, corruption is what I can kind of call it, considering it's like changing things and making things ill and having a biological effect on everything. So yeah, um, that's not really good, so I gotta figure that one out. But yeah, as I said, next episode we'll be building somewhere... What direction are we? Maybe over there. It'll be probably over there, I think. Uh, it'll be winged because daily uploads. I don't have time to design things anymore. Uh, but yeah, hopefully you have a very good third day of your December. Um, and yeah, I will see you all in the next episode. Goodbye!